Well, who would hit a 13-year-old boy on his bicycle and leave him there on the roadside to die? It happened in Manatee County last night, and thankfully, the boy did survive. Now investigators are trying to figure out who this cold-blooded hit-and-run driver is. And John Rogers joins us now. He is live in Manatee County. John, I know these parents, the boys' parents just spoke. I can't imagine uh, how they're feeling and dealing with this. Uh, how is the young boy doing tonight? Well, we're told by the father that the boy is progressing nicely and starting to have feeling again in his legs. How scary is that, Stacy? But everyone out here is asking the same question. Why would somebody do this? Sean Nerf says that driver should be aware of the terrible crime they committed. I mean, you hit a child, you're going to know it especially when you knock them off their bike. I mean, it takes a heck of an impact to knock a child off a bike. His 13-year-old son, Nathan, is in serious condition at Tampa General Hospital. Last night, neighbors say Nerf was riding his bike to visit a friend's house on Clay Gully Road when a new remodel black Cadillac hit him and sped away. Uh, but he was grazed by the car, knocked clear off his bike, and spun about, they said, two or three times in the air and landed on his back. Um, at that point, he rolled over, and he stayed in that position and was stuck there. He couldn't move after that. Nerf was left on the side of the road until he was later spotted by a neighbor. It's upsetting because that could have been anybody. I Nerf mean, was trying to visit Joe that? Tiani's son. A human life should be as important enough to stop and say, oh my gosh, let me help you. Let me at least call 911. You're not in trouble. It's an accident. Look, we have a very small community here in Mayaka City. Fellow neighbor Daria Cole says drivers are not considerate on this road. It's very scary, but I'm not surprised because we've been living on this road for over five years and being outside walking, people do not slow down. Somebody knows something. Step up and, and do the right thing. Come forward and, you know, take care of this. I mean, you don't hit a child and then just walk away. Drivers frequently speed down this road, I'm told. In fact, just two months ago, the Nerf family dog actually died the same way by being hit by a car and left on the side of the road. Thankfully, Nathan did not have the same fate, but if anyone knows anything, contact the authorities. Stacey? So disturbing. I, I, I don't know where to begin. John, what, dry, what charges would the driver face or could or will when he or she is found? Yeah, authorities say the driver could face serious charges, a felony for this hit and run. That's very serious. And so if anyone knows anything about this black Cadillac with possible damage on the right side, please call the authorities. All right, John Rogers live in Manatee County for us tonight. Thank you.